From scary instances beyond people's control to elements that just are hard to comprehend. Join me as I show you some scary public transportation stories. Number 6. The Train Stop This story apparently happened to a Redditor who was riding in a train in Queens, New York when suddenly the train stopped. Not just stopped, but stopped abruptly. Just as bad though was that almost immediately after going still, the lights suddenly flipped off. And that left a ton of people on the train wondering what the heck was going on. Which, to be fair, if that happened to me, I'd be thinking and feeling the same thing. Now, there was an explanation given for the incident, and it's not exactly what you're expecting. According to the Redditor, a man was fleeing the police and ran into a tunnel, which is never a smart idea. And then because of how dark the tunnel was, he collided with the train. The train stopped because of that, and the train conductor went and turned off the lights so the police could go and look for the man who was hit. According to our storyteller, the man was alive, which would indicate a non-direct hit. But of course, that raises all sorts of other questions, not the least of which was that of, why did the man try and escape the police by going into a train tunnel? And why was he fleeing them at all? Too many questions and not enough answers. Number 5. The Train Rider Sticking with trains for another entry, a Redditor, and several Redditors who commented on this original post, talked about how sometimes the worst thing about riding in public transportation is the people you can't avoid, including train riders who aren't afraid to get all up in your grill. In the case of this story, our Redditor was riding a train, and there was only one other person on the train at the time with him, an 18-year-old girl. Then a rather crazy looking person got onto the train and instead of sitting down, just went to the girl and hovered over her. He didn't say a word, but instead just breathed heavily over her. She didn't make contact and even looked at our Redditor, who indicated that if the guy did anything, he would help her. A very nice gesture to make. Then the guy just randomly sat down and proceeded to just stare at the girl, which prompted her to get up and sit next to the Redditor. As they started to talk, the man got up and glared at them both. The Redditor stood off with him and then proceeded to talk him off the train. Many other cases of this were talked about in the thread, which is scary in its own right because if this was just a random occurrence, that would be one thing. But it happening all over? That's just sad. Which is our lesson for the day. Strength in numbers. Number 4. Send in the clowns. Ready for another train story? Good, because we got one for you. And this one will feel a little bit like Joker, but with a couple twists along the way. In Seoul, South Korea, one Redditor was doing a very basic and normal train ride when he noticed that there was a clown on the train. No, it wasn't Joaquin Phoenix, just for the record. Anyway, the clown wasn't doing anything wrong, so he didn't really pay attention to him. However, the train suddenly stopped and the conductor came over the speaker and said that a person had thrown themselves in front of the train and that they collided. They were going to be shut down for a bit while they figured out what to do. To the horror of the Redditor, the clown decided that this would be the perfect time for an act and said that the Redditor was going to be his assistant. I mean, I'm all for brightening a bad day, but there's such a thing as a time and place and having to endure a clown act when you know that someone is dead not far from you? Yeah. Uh, Thanks, but no thanks, pal. Number three, flooding the tunnel. Without a doubt, one of the things that can do the most damage to an area without much effort is a flood. Sure, tornadoes and hurricanes do massive damage, but oftentimes floods not only wipe out whole areas, they can drown them and linger for days. Plus, if you're in the wrong area when a flood hits, you're screwed. Such as when you're in a train tunnel and floodwaters start coming in. This is indeed what happened to one Redditor from New York who noted that one time in the 90s, he was trying to get home and took a train during a massive rainstorm. While they were under the huts and the train stopped and the passengers could look into the tunnel and see that there was a lot of water entering the tunnel and even starting to raise up a little bit. Given the nature of the train, they couldn't get off or away, nowhere to go because they were in a tunnel that was flooding. Thankfully for them, the train started to move and eventually got them to safety not before giving a lot of people a lot of heart attacks, no doubt. Number two, the rock thrower. This particular incident happened in India, as one Redditor documents a time where a person got hurt because of another person's bad intent. You see, in India, trains are really crowded, so much so that they literally leave the doors open so more people can fit on the train, and people go and ride on top of the train or hang on to the bars on the sides. 
This is dangerous to say the least. But as you're about to see, another side effect of this is that it leaves a person exposed, which our Redditor unfortunately had to witness firsthand, as when they were passing through a slum, a person threw a rock at the train, and the rock hit the person right in front of the Redditor. Thankfully, the guy didn't fall out, but our storyteller noted that he did indeed have a big, bloody cut on his head. That kind of act is wrong on many levels, but just as important, that's a scary experience that no one should have to deal with because you can bet that there was no way to treat that wound on such a crowded train. Number one, casualties. Ending on a very humbling note, a person on Reddit noted that when she moved to the Netherlands, she found out that people die on train tracks virtually every week. And it's because they end their own lives this way. Including one time she literally was standing over the spot where the dead person was. Not exactly a heartwarming thing that'll get you to ride the train, right? And there you have it, everyone. A look at the various scary transportation incidents that have occurred with people. Which of these incidents do you find the most scary? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.